The Brave Warriors came into the second leg of the 2023 AFCON qualifier as the underdogs playing home away from home at the Dobsonville Stadium in South Africa against a strong Cameroon team. The two teams played out to a quiet 45 minutes in Johannesburg in what was just their second ever meeting. From the interval, Colin Benjamin's side flipped the script to keep the indomitable Lions on the back foot in the second half. The Brave Warriors eventually broke the deadlock when Cameroonian shortstopper Epasi parried Ngero Katua short into the path of Peter Shalulile to open the scoring after 55 minutes. At the 78th minute mark, Absalom Mbodi made it 2 0 with a free kick, which left the goalkeeper helpless. Lloyd Kadapo, who had an impressive showing in between the sticks, was denied a clean sheet by Vincent Abubakar in the first minute of added time. I think this game we also started very well. We had our organization, our structure. We didn't let any chances go through. And uh, through the tenacity, basically, of, of, of our boys, our players, and the determination, we could get into the lead. We got the second one. Uh, I think there was also chances that we could go into the third one as well. Uh, yeah, and, and then obviously they come back and then get that second goal. But all in all, I think it was a good one and we kept it close in the sense that uh, they didn't have as many chances and for that we, we, we really proud of our boys. All along we give the glory to God uh, for this opportunity to be playing. As uh, we, 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 we always say, you know, spot on from the coaches. It was not easy. They had skipped last night, you know, watching this team videos and all that, but we picked up, you know, that's why I'm saying uh, credit goes to them because uh, they, they, they taught us a lot of things in terms of how the game would be, how we should uh, approach the game and, uh, you know, also to my boys, to the team, you know, I'd like to say thank you to them uh, and, and, and some of the game. Namibia is currently topping the group on five points, followed by Cameroon on four and Burundi on a single point. This means that if Burundi wins their last two games, Burundi will move to seven points, Namibia will be second on five points and Cameroon on four, Burundi and Namibia will qualify. However, if Burundi beat Namibia and lose to Cameroon, the indomitable Lions will top the group on seven points, Namibia will be second on five points and Burundi on three points. Eventually, Cameroon and Namibia will qualify. But if Burundi beat Namibia and draw against Cameroon, the head-to-head -head rule will apply and the confirmation of who will qualify can only be determined after completion of all the games. Nicholas Theremo, NBC Sport News, Ventuk.